Hey friends, it's Sonia. Welcome back to my daily vlog. Let me just tell ya, the snow that has fallen delightfully from the sky has inspired me to paint, paint, paint. You see the beautiful glow from out there? Oh my gosh, I love it. You wanna go out. You think you wanna go out, but I'm telling you. Have fun, kitty kitty. So I've been painting my thrifted finds. You might have joined me on Facebook where we recently did this one. Start to be. Can I get some comfort, please? I guess it should have been. In the meantime, Stanley's over here. What are you doing, kitty kitty? It's are you watching me paint? Baby. Are you watching me paint? I'm kitty kitty. That's Such a good kitty cat you are. Hurt. My little Let painting buddy. I think it turned out fantastic. So I'm going to head down now and. Uh, put this up on the wall. Yeah, I love it. And here is where I hung my grayish anatomy, super distressed Shabbos style, just the way I like it mirror. So when you come in through the door versus the keys being on the windowsill, now I can hang them all here. So I love that. We did that live with a really quick what, 30 minute flip, if that. And I talked a lot, let me tell you. Then last night, we went live on Facebook. <laughs> oh, because I told you, I made eye contact with these beautiful fleur de lis while I was having supper. And they were like, Sonia, you have put us off. You know you wanna paint me. So these were a glossy ceramic black color, like this. And it really just didn't fit with my decor. I really wanted to soften them up a little bit because with the orange furniture and the black decor, well, let me just say Halloween's over now, right? So let's just winterize them, make them look a little more cozy and yeah, just really mellowed out. So now they just fit in better with my color scheme. So these are the ones that we painted together. posted whether or not I should go ahead with my idea of putting a gold poly over the top of them or silver poly or champagne poly. It is our shimmer polyacrylic. It's got some beautiful metallic pieces. So when you go to seal, you get a little bling bling. So tell me if you think um, if I should go ahead and seal them or leave them as is. I like how they look right now. I could do a little extra distressing on them, but I do like how they look right now. It's just that old stone look. This is what's called dry brushing. And thank you friends for all your support and love that you sent regarding our thrifting trip last night over to Stone Stonehouse Jack. I have to see some more thrifting in our future this week. So stay tuned for that on the vlog. Wasn't Maxwell just the sweetest thing ever, the most cutest furry salesperson. He will steal your heart in a second. <laughs> so I hope you get to go visit there too. If you need your junk monkey paint, and you live in the Titusville area, there you go. You get to go see awesome thrifted stuff. You get to go visit Maxwell, see if he's around and get your junk monkey paint. I got a few finds from yesterday that I left you guys hanging. So I told you to come back today and I'm not gonna leave you hanging anymore. I told you that I did get a set of something. Well, I kind of got like two sets, all right? Two things, and even when I edited that video and I put it up, I was looking going, I should have took that, and I should have took that, because sometimes when I'm filming and I'm doing like a filming round with you guys, and if I don't have a cart with me, because it's hard to have a cart and hold the camera at the same time, I look back at the video and I go, Gosh darn it, I'm about to take that home. These popcorn uh, bowls, ceramic bowls, 
dishwasher and micro microwave safe, just not oven safe. I am going to clean these up and I'm gonna make use of them. So I'm gonna be there, you know, having my munchies, my popcorn. Oh, we should make some chocolate drizzled popcorn. Do you have any good recipes for popcorn? Like ideas for toppings that you can put on them? Because that will be something fun. I should make some popcorn and get some good toppings. You know what I mean? And then you just like, you sit in bed and you enjoy the munchies. So do you guys have a set like this? I just thought they were fantastic. There's no chips on them. They're perfect. And I just thought that they would really suit my lifestyle. You can decorate with these, but I will definitely clean these up, give them a nice soak, and then I'm going to make use of them myself. So. I'm sure you'll see these in future vlogs. So what do you think of these? Would you have taken them home? They were two for $6, I do believe. What a deal. Okay, the next thing that I took home, it's a mystery. What's in the bag? Okay, so I saw these and you know when you know what you like. You're just drawn to something and you go, oh my gosh, that's fabulous, that's fantastic, I want it. Well, I did make these mine, okay? These are embroidery hoops, wooden embroidery hoops, and they have a fabric decor inside with feathers with the navy blue, navy blue and orange and yellow just go so good together. But I love how vibrant it is. This one has a dream catcher on it. So I got this one, which is just the two feathers. This one, this one has a little bit of beading onto it as well and a little pom-pom, because we love the pom-poms. Ain't that sweet, little doily, all those beads. So it still felt a little vintagey to me because it had the doily look onto it. And, uh, but at the same time, it was really boho, shabby, happy. Shabby, happy. How do you paint, Sonia? I paint shabby, happy. So anyway, what do you think of that one? So this one is the biggest. This one goes next to it. And then, you know, in decorating things of three, let them be. Your, lo your eye loves the odd numbers. So they just range in size from biggest, medium, large, medium, and small. And they're all a little bit different. You can betcha that I'm gonna go find a wall. Wherever I put it, I'll show you guys eventually here in the vlog, but I'm gonna go find a wall that these three would go on that would go nicely. You guys know that I have that teal rug downstairs, so I think this, green, blue, teal will go quite nice. I have yellow in my carpet. Orange goes super nice. It's a way to bring some color. And again, just make your space interesting. So tell me if you love, if you would have picked them up too, are you like me? Are we two peas in a pod? Would you have gravitated towards these as well? We're probably a lot alike. 